Hi everyone, it's Karen Jean and welcome, sorry, I'm trying to get all the grains off. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the studio today in our continuation of our Shabby Dabby Doodah inspired journal. I did put glossy accents on that. <laughs> yes, I realized after I stopped recording, glossy accents, woman. So um, that's that right there. So hopefully you can see that. Also, what I've done is I pulled out some things here and I did all that fussy cutting. So let me show you what I pulled out. Ugh. We might use those, it might be too big. I was just finishing up um, the junk journal July, July 1st prompt. So that's why you got, you got a few extra things here. So as I was looking through my stuff for that, I found, look at these, these are, stickers right and she does have well i don't know if she has sunflowers in this one she has sunflowers and maybe just a regular farmhouse one but these are also rub-ons dollar tree rub-ons might be the right color blue you know this is just stuff i was pulling out that and i was thinking about using one of these oh there's poo and piglet i was wondering what happened to you using one of these because the you know, the roosters do have a little bit of that highlight. So just to, you know, maybe decorate a little bit throughout the book. Okay, now I am going to. And so this is what we have. This, these, this is our, that's done. These are the things that we've made. Also, I want to show you this. This is her envelope. And what I did, I should have printed it out on cardstock. I really should have, and I didn't because I printed everything on paper. I reinforced the top here with just a piece of that. And I put one of my, um, I put a magnetic closure on it. That way it can be on, we can put it over the side of a page and it'll stay because of the magnet. So that's what I did with that. That's another little pocket. Um, so here are, well, Pooh and Piglet, you don't go in there. I'll put you over here. I'll probably lose you, put you over there. So what I have here is, as you can see, uh, some of the stuff. I did put the fabric down on the cardstock and uh, cut that out. So we have those. That's what this is for decorating. On this side, this is just a case that came with one of my old things over there. I have little bits and bobs, right? The little, actually, I was just probably cleaning up. These are, well, that's just something I have. Uh, I did all the fussy cutting and here's all the small stuff on this side and on this side is all the larger stuff with also these and the larger bits and bobs. Um, so that's, that's what this mess is as I add to the mess of it all. Uh, let's just put that there in an attempt, in an attempt. I also pulled this out because it's thin and uh, it has that nice green. So maybe we could do some some stuff with that. Some stuff with that. Uh, and the book has been laying open for the past couple of days because of the glossy accents. So, so hello, so hello, so hello, so hello. Um, I'm feeling something there. I'm feeling a bump right there. Uh, okay, so what are we doing next? Whoops, uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to make sure that nothing is sticking, I think, is what we're going to do next. Uh, we have our trims. You see how pretty that looks? Don't know if it's really coming across. Our little clusters. Okay. Cluster, cluster, cluster. We need to build up, build up, build up. This is, that's a frame. It's really calling for something, isn't it? Yes, it is. Alexa notification. Okay. <laughs> Alexa was telling me about a deal that I've been waiting on. So, you know. She thought I said Delaware. Now she's telling me about Delaware. Alexa, stop. Okay, so let's make sure nothing's sticking. Okay, nothing's sticking. We have our pockets, pockets, pockets. 
pockets, pockets, pockets. Uh, we also, we're, because of the bling that we're putting in, we are going to need to make a writing board. Now, I did say that because we have bling over here too, right there, we could put some bling down the edge of a page. I don't think I would do the entire edge of the page with the blingy blingy, but we certainly can. We're not going to introduce blue. That's a whole new one. Let's do this. Let's pull that one out. Let me see if I have a different size and shape of it. We'll do that one. The smaller. Well, I have lots of this because I, <laughs> I have lots of this because I use it to cover spines. I just want, we could, let's do that one. Mm. All right, let's just, let's just leave that one because I think we'll probably put it down on more than one page. I'm thinking this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could do seven by two, seven by two. Here's seven by two, that way. Or we can do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can do nine, about nine by two. Obviously not right here because right here has that on the other side. We could layer it up there. We could, we have wing there, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. I'm putting it there. I have spoken, let it be written, let it be. What is, what is that old from, uh, uh, the Ten Commandments, let it be written, let it be done, right? When the Pharaoh speaks, let it be written, let it be done. Something like that. I don't know. Getting the glue off my fingers. Uh. So it is written, so it is done. Maybe that's the quote. I don't know. Something like that. Now I'm going to have to go back and watch the Ten Commandments. Not a hardship. Really good movie. Really good movie, right? Charlton Heston, Ten Commandments, Ben-Hur, uh, back in the Cecil B. DeMille days, when they were doing all those Hollywood blockbusters like that. Uh, yeah, and they always had them on TV at Easter time, and we always watched them at Easter. I remember it. I have a very fond memory of us um, watching those movies at Easter. Anyway, um, okay, I am loving life at the moment, loving life. Now we, have, we could use tissue paper in here. It's a bright green, but that paper has bright green. And the yellow, which is a little bit too bright, bright. Okay. So, yeah, see, we have a bump. We have a bump right there. We have a bump right there. Let's see what we got here. How about if we figure out... Some... Side tucks, American Jersey Cattle Club, blue ribbon. Blue ribbon. Well, that's too samey, samey. Uh, that's too, so we could put that someplace else. Okay, I'm sorry. I am getting really, I'm getting distracted. I am distracting myself with the distractions. With all the distractions is what I'm doing. Um, so we have this blue ribbon, these which are dark, that's from, that's, I cut them out, of course, but 
Eh, it's a bit dark for me. I mean, it's very dark. It's very dark. I uh, can, here we have some labels. Look at that. I think I might know. Oh, well, wait a second. Let me pull out. Let me pull out those two labels. I'm thinking of the inside front cover is what I'm thinking, is what I'm thinking. It's also rather nice. These are large, these are the large ones, right? Large, large. Uh. What we can, I wonder if, I'm wondering, that could, that's a rather large, I'm thinking a side tuck, that's a rather large side tuck. We can cut it down. Uh, I don't know, that's that's a rather large side tuck. Might be the wrong, I do like that one. Oh, and we also need belly bands. And let me pull that one out. These are too dark, too dark. This one's dark, but all right. Let's see what else we got here. Diploma. Oh, well, maybe that one. There's a little space to write your name there. Also might be a little bit too dark, wrong colors. Um, all right, so oof, let's just put these all back here. Let's just put these all back in here, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see what we have here. Diploma. Uh, it's too, I don't like the color. Uh, possibility, possibility. The shield, possibility. The poultry world, nope, I don't like the color. I don't like the beigey browny color, whatever. That is too gray. That's interesting, that's too gray. That is not light enough. Don't like that color either. That is, hmm. These are obviously the same colors. Well, these are my choices. This is what I've decided upon, these three. Well, I'm gonna table that for the moment. I'm not too thrilled with any of those. Oh, my giddy aunt, what can I say? I have no idea what this video is gonna look like when I'm all done because I've been stopping and starting and pulling things out and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a piece of paper that I uh, stained with uh, the vintage photo. I cut it down to eight and a half. I'm gonna make an envelope out of it using my punch board, uh, eight and a half square, where did it go? For a four by six card, so it should fit three and three quarters if I'm reading that correctly, because Lord knows I can't see a gosh darn thing. Three and three quarters is right there. Punch it, score it. I found my other bone folder. I still haven't found my Oops, hello, get up there. A uh, six inch ruler, which is an issue. It is an issue. Uh, punch score, punch score, punch score, punch score. Punch, whoops, score. Something's wrong there. What did I do wrong? Uh, let's, let's, let's start this again. Three and three, this, three, where did I start it? Three and three quarters. I didn't start it there. Where did I start it? Did I start it here? Sweet Toledo, three and three quarters. I started it there. That's right. I moved it. Oh, that's where I screwed up. How did I do that? Oh, sweet Toledo. Let's see what happens now.
Mm, punch score. I know I made more of this paper. I just can't find, oh boy, this is totally messed up. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. I have no bleeding idea. I'm back. Don't ask me what I've been doing. I have no idea what I've been doing. I am, oh, here's, here's more paper. Trying to, this is what I was looking for, do an envelope, right? Uh, maybe out of this one, eight and a half inches. I need to cut three inches off of that. And then, cause this is eight and a half wide, so I'm gonna make it an eight and a half square. This one doesn't have enough color on it. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking, I was thinking envelopes. I also was going through my paper pads and the, these colors are light enough that they will match here. I'm okay with that. And it, you know, the theme is good. This is from a Bow Bunny paper pad that I got at Tuesday morning a few years ago. Uh, and it's the months. It's a double, uh, the 12 months. And anyway, uh, I, I want to use this. I just don't know what I want to use it for. Now we could make, because it's an all over design. I was thinking an envelope, but because of the way it's, I would have to be sure. I could do, I could do an envelope, but then I could do an envelope, it's 12 inches. If I do an eight and a half square, we still have some extra. We can do belly bands with the extra. Bum, decided. That's what we're gonna do. To cut this, I need to go uh, over to eight and a half. Hold on a second. Math, my brain's not working on math today. Uh, three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. Now that we have our new thing, our new, our new. <laughs> um, okay, wait a second. Let me move that aside. Uh, eight and a half to is three inches. This I need to cut down three inches. So I'm going to cut this down three inches. Okay, and I'm going to cut this one down. I'm going to cut it down up here. Uh, three and a half inches. Three and a half inches is right there. So there. And then three and a half inches this way. Uh, I do not think because with the punch board, these become the flaps. The corners become the flaps. It gets folded in and then it's going to be... I'm not going to be able to use the punch board because the envelope is going to be like this then, right? Um, boom, boom, boom. It's going to be like that, which is going to look kind of silly. But I could do an, an envelope another way with that one. I don't have to use the punch board. You don't have to use a punch board to do an envelope, for heaven's sakes, right? Of course not, Karen Jean. Get with the program. Get with the program. You can do envelopes all different kinds of ways. Uh, I might make that a floating uh, coin-type envelope, which means gusseting. I'll think about it. Okay, three and three quarters. Let's see if I, last time, I messed the other one up. Let's see if I don't mess this one up. Try not to mess this one up. Try not to mess this one up. I had no idea what I was thinking when I did the other one, quite honestly. And I'm referencing, and I'm talking about another one I did, and... Tell me I messed it up again. I'm going to scream. Why is this doing this? This is why I'm redoing this. Let me show you the one that I'm telling myself I messed up because I got this far and I'm like, what the hell did I do? Excuse my language. But you see these different score marks. I'm like, why is this? Why is this looking this way? Why is this looking this way? Unless I misread, I can just go iron those out. Hold on, I need to take my glasses off for this. Uh, eight and a half, three and three quarters. That's what it says. I know you can't see it, but that's what it says. You gotta trust me, it's on this blue line. Eight and a half square, three and three quarters. 
Why is it not working? Hold on, let me get these out of the way. Why is it not working? I'm gonna flip it. Here, I'm flipping it. I don't know why it's not working. And why is it not working? It should be punching. It should be punching where they meet. Oh my God. Why is that not working? Three and three quarters. needs to punch right here it needs to punch right there I can't even get it in I can't even get it over there punched it here boom that's at three and a quarter punched it here that's all the way over there I punched it here that's it really doesn't matter you, you just do the first punch and then you just go around the circle so that's not three. where the heck is the first punch that's three and a quarter that's not the first punch I'm going to have to look at the, the video. Let, let's see the instant replay, please. Just I am going bananas. Bananas, I'm telling you. Bananas. All right. That is where. That's about three and three quarters. Boom. It's a little bit over because my eyes are not focusing there punch it score it boom punch it score it boom Two and a half inches. Two and two and a half inches. Inches. Two and a half. Should be here. Be there. It's 
crooked. I don't know why it's doing this. I need my six inch ruler. <sighs> I need my six inch ruler. Right, that's so that should, if the card, so that's six and a quarter which is what it should be if the card is four and a half by six. Right there. It should be right here. But these are not. Oh my God. Oh my God, friends, as I'm sitting here editing this video, I just figured out why this was not working for me twice. And that is because the paper is eight and a half by 11 and I needed an eight and a half square. I cut off three inches. So I made it by, I made the paper eight by eight and a half. I didn't make a square paper. Honestly, Karen Jean, honestly. Jeez oh, Louise. I got to tell you, friends, that was the most painful experience I have ever had in trying to make an envelope with my envelope punch board. I'm just cleaning up the mess over here. I have little bits of paper all over the place. I have no idea what the heck happened. No idea what the heck happened. Anyway, I ironed it to try to get like some of the wrinkles out. I will... The desk is a mess. That's just that's just a given at this point. That is a given. I am looking for this. Yes, I'm gonna use glue stick to glue this down. Glue that flap down. That makes it easier to get in and out of the envelope, and it also reinforces uh, that pressure point right there. Oh, my giddy aunt, that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. What did I do with the book? Here it is. Oh, sweet Helena. Sweet Toledo, sweet Toledo, sweet Toledo. Um, now, we already have the... Oh, heavens. I'm making a right mess, aren't I? We already have this one, which will go over this, well, not that page, it has an edging on it, go over the side of a page like that, right? Boom. 
we have that one. We should probably put those pockets in. Maybe we'll do that next. Uh, this one, which is fun, it would be, um, you know, we could do it a, a pocket in the back and then the envelope. We can do that. We can also, let's just play around here for a second. We could have it flip off the edge of the page. That would require in here, might be a little bit dicey. We can glue that down and it can flip open this way. We can decorate that. We have a flip open this way. Uh, let me just like this. Flip open this way and we can put another one if we put it down here well, we could just we could put it on the page and we could leave that as a tuck spot and that as a tuck spot. Just glue it down, like down the center and down here, not the whole thing. And so then we have a tuck and a tuck. A, a bottom tuck like this, so things can fall out the bottom. Mm. We have options. We have options. We also have this and we have this okay my friends well at this point I have a splitting headache um, from lack of sleep and from fussing with that envelope punch board I hope it brought you laughter you probably had already figured it out in the meantime, this is Karen Jean. Let your imagination take flight. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.